Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to Earthbound. I'm Shryclad Tamer, and we are going to collect our final melody here at Fire Spring. That's the biggest volcano I've ever seen. Ness had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. Ness the soundstone recorded the melody of the fire spring. Flashback time. A small, cute puppy. A baby in a red cap. Mother reminding to be a thoughtful and strong boy. A whiff of steak. A baby's bottle. Mother when she was younger. Father holding Ness. And watched as a baby. Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness, he smiled just from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. Haha, <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some steak. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. And now is when things start to get a little kooky. Welcome to Magic Ant. Ness, you stood on the eight power spots of the Earth. From these, you created Magicant, the realm of your mind. In Magicant, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of those feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. So yeah, all eight melodies brings us to Magicant and many flashbacks. This is the realm of Magicant, where, which your mind created. While you explore your mind, take your time, Ness. Talking to people causes things to be all crazy lacking stuff. And would you look at that, here's a little mini version of the family. Whimper, whine, I lived in your house before you were born. Ness used to be small and weak. Thank you. Oh Ness, are you tired from traveling on your adventure? Yeah, I'm a little tuckered up. If you wish, you can stay here forever. I'll make some steak for you. So now we feel all well rested. Brother Ness, the Sea of Eden is at the end of Magic Ant. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Okay, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, I would like to store some things from here in Magic Ant. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these two things right here. Um, I can't really get rid of much else. I wish I could get rid of these because I don't plan to use ATM or receiver phone anymore, but... Alas, just the baddest beam and heavy bazooka. Okay, so that phrase up in the Tory space a little bit. Of course, we're just in S right now. Chee 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 chee! Oh, that was quite a small town, wasn't it? Yes, it was. 
and come on into Magic Kingdom. It's like its own little town within Nessa's mind, and apparently Nessa is a very big fan of vegetables. While they make you grow big and strong in the mind. Hi, the shop specializes in puddings and pendants. That's probably what it's called. Earth pendant is a good item to get, and I didn't get the star pendant off screen, so I shall grab one of these for Ness. Magic puddings give a good 40 pp range, so that's a nice thing. Ness, did you learn how to tell what I'm indicating? Yeah, you look at about 3 o'clock to me in a very lopsided, pixelated thing. Ever dread! Ness, maybe don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. Yeah, I kind of make the colors a little bit brighter, even though the wateriness is looking a little creepy, but it looks best overall. Zambies, you kicked my butt badly, I won't forget. Uh, you're totally not the reason I ha haven't done a lot of stuff, and I haven't been throwing up either. You destroyed my pride, uh, no, I haven't been throwing up, but zombies were kind of a thing watching The Walking Dead game, because I named my face. I think tomorrow, the 25th of July, is when they show stuff. <laughs> yeah, me talking about all this. Uh, let's see. How about Picky? Ness, Pokey took my snack. Oh, man, how bad. Yeah, long time no see, Ness, and this kid right here. Wow, well, Ness, let's play. I think that's supposed to, one of these kids that looks like that is supposed to be like a look of Ness when he was younger. Present, PSI Carmel. Oh well, need all the PP I can get, I guess. Go around the snowman, too bad the song's not in this. I know the name of the girl you used to like. Uh, yeah, that's the kid right there that looks like me, apparently. Ness, you're so lucky, I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? <laughs> You're hilarious. No. This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. And into this house is something a little interesting. The house of the flying men. I am your courage to follow you here in Magic Game. My name, let's say, Flying Man. It's like little party members that you can take around with you. The flying man joins you. So, I'ma see how long you last. That's a fishy dude. Ness, I still feel pain where you wounded me. Oh no, now the enemies are making me conceal and feel. Feel with ultimate intelligence, touch the end of the universe and stuff. This looks cool. And I think uh, we're close to an item. And yay, the music's cool now. Hey, how you doing, me? Hey, me, I found my cap that you lost. I found my cap that you lost, got the baseball cap, and I don't need it. Present, bag of Dragonite! Oh no, here come the attack of the enemies, and I'm getting a green scroll, so I'm probably not even gonna have to fight it, except I do. Loaded dice! Guess what? This enemy is to die for, ha ha ha, because he dies easily, but the thing he does is, uh, calls other enemies into battle, so that's a thing he does. A lot of question mark enemies over there, so who knows what they can be? Item up here. Got a spam! Getting moved forward, looping around everything. More battles have been passed through. Okay, this is a carefree bomb enemy. Uh, let's just throw bombs at you. Of course, bombs don't do too much, but, uh, since I have a flying man with me, it doesn't appear, like, down at the bottom. Uh, it still gets damaged, so... I'm going to be careful with stuff. Up uh, there goes the... Flying man, I could go get more, but I think I'll solo with Ness, and I just used the back dragon I and became a super awesome fire breathing dragon. Aha! Those carefree bombs are laying a big beating on me. Here's a magic camp bat. Okay, we got Mr. Molecules. These are the most pathetic enemies ever, and I do have the Franklin badge, so their uh, electric attacks will get deflected. And plus seven, the earth pendant on makes me pretty much immune to everything. Oh boy, we got an interesting enemy. Of course, all enemies are interesting. Okay, we got the French kiss of death and the electro swoosh. Ooh. I'm going to attack it even though it's more of a new enemy. Yay, I'm poisoned. Ain't that amazing? Alright, didn't hit anyone. Breaking's bad deflected. Awesome stuff. Poison damage isn't good. I keep using Life Up Alpha by mistake. Magic Tart, yay, awesome stuff. I th oh, well, the Magic Truffle heals like 80 PP, so I think Magic Tart's a little bit less. Aw oh, yeah, getting Green Swirl, Runaways, and Gray Swirl kills. And let's talk to this thing that looks kind of familiar from that interesting room we briefly saw from The Lost Underworld. 
Okay, we're in the Sea of Eden now. We're gonna be seeing our way through this place. Haha, I'm getting all the lame jokes in when I can. And this Kraken's gonna be eating me up, cause there's multiple around, and, uh, well, I'll just kill its face off. Yeah. It's not much to me anymore. Just gotta bam its face through. The crushing boom bang attack is gonna be deflected. Ha, huh, you're cracking me up. This place is pretty peaceful despite the krakens all around me and what we're getting close to. Alrighty, all the way up and to the left. We're here. This looks familiar. I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me because you were the one who forced me into being. And here is where we battle Ness's Nightmare, the evil in Ness's mind. This thing has a lot of psychic points. Wow, I said that inside a PP, cool. Okay. And I have plenty of refills for PP if I do need it. Uh, what's a good place to start off? Um, I'll try myself a shield, because that's my thing so a little interesting with the power shield, even though it's gonna be doing a lot of this stuff. Yeah, we're rocking each other's mind and stuff. And it's weird because, like, if we both try to use Rockin' uh, in the same turn, like, we won't be able to do anything, and of course that made it disappear. And plus I don't have the shield killer on it. And he's using Rockin' on me, and it's not good. Yeah, look at all that stuff he's doing. We're just gonna keep bashing while the HP is scrolling down. The glorious light's not gonna do much to me. He's using Rockin' Alpha on me. That shouldn't do too much. I'm just gonna wait till I get, uh, below 200 HP of damage. I guess. Ah, uh, come on, quit life upping yourself. At least he's draining his PP down a lot. <laughs> Especially with, uh, it costing 98 to use Rock and Omega. So I'm going to life up Gamma myself. Max style HP. I could use beta because I often get lucky with a beta recovering over 300, even though it's like a 200 range kind of thing. Beta, <laughs> it takes me two turns to alleviate that. And you think you're strong with all that PSI rockin'? Well, you are, but not strong enough for me. We're just having a fight to the death here. Quell the nightmares. Okay. He might be running low on PP, so that's why he might be using Alpha more, so... Yeah, I think he doesn't have enough to use Omega now, so I'm just gonna keep bashing him. Uh, yeah, Power Shield as well. That's a problem. Uh, I wish I could use the shield killer. I don't think Ness can use it. Only Jeff can, so that's problematic of a thing. i just keep going. Yeah, there we go. Eh, the power shield's my main worry now, of course. Why? You got- you still have Omega? Okay. Uh, I definitely need to do some life up now. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just kind of a hairy fight. You can play around with it all you want, because it's- I mean, it's meant to be powerful, but you have all this- PP. I'm running pretty low myself, so that's why I'm not using too many powers in itself. Okay, life up. Quit doing that. There we go. There that goes. Rock and Omega again. Dang. I think that's like 999 psychic points, so that's kind of a thing of stuff. Okay, Rock and Alpha. I'm just talking in jumbledness. There we go. Stop the moving. I didn't have to worry about too much. Good night, Nightmare. I got a nice level up game from there. Ness heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus's goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe can be destroyed at the hands of Gygus, but he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus' attempt will fail. It's because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me! Listen, free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. Sa sa Saturn Saturn Valley, yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon, Magic Hand will be no more. We must be quick. Ness really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now.
Nessus filled with the power of the giant step. Nessus speed increased by five. Nessus fatality increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Lilliput steps. Nessus guts increased by five. Nessus luck increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Milky Well. Nessus speed increased by five. Nessus IQ increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Magnet Hill. Ness's vitality increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Rainy Circle. Ness's gust increased by five. Ness's IQ increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Pink Cloud. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's gust increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Looming Hole. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness's IQ increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Fire Spring. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Instantly, Ness's mind cleared, and he realized that he had possessed great power. At that moment, Ness's psychic powers radically expanded. Ness gained 200,000 experience. Level 80! Oh baby! Offense went up by 5, speed went up by 2, guts went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, luck went up by 2. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 150. That rocks! Maximum PP went up by 370. And finally, he realized he had the power of Teleport Beta. Our magic can't be stopped now. Ness made all of the hidden powers his own. Ness absorbed the power of the land into his heart, and magic can't was no more. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It is time to get up. The sound cell that Ness never had is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. He kept saying something. Saturn Valley was waiting for us there. Anyway, we need to teleport. And that we shall. Next time on Let's Play Earthbound, we will be seeing what's for us at Saturn Valley. Until then, do not toast yourself.